Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about what is Chart GPT and how it is useful and how can we integrate with Pega. So let's get started in our topic. So what is this Chart GPT that everyone is discussing about? So Chart GPT is one of the artificial intelligence chatbot that was developed by OpenAI and the exact abbreviation is Generative Pre-trained Transformer. It's built on Open APS. 3.5 family and they have used uh, natural language processing NLP for this chatbot and to provide responses they made it uh, use of neural network architecture and the prototype of chatbot has been released in November 2022. So what are the uses of this chatbot? So this chat GPT chatbot is very useful for your application in different domains like sales, marketing, programming content creation and customer support. If we use this chat GPT in an organized way and uh, if we utilize all the services from chat GPT, so the training that needs to be given to the end users or to your agents for your respective application decreases the training time and the productivity will be increased due to which you can grow up very fast in the market and uh, in Pega, 8.8 .8, uh, version and the upcoming versions of Pega. So Pega systems has planned to include AI in case management itself. So they are calling as a Pega Infinity 23 which is going to be released in third quarter. And what are the limitations that are there for this chat GPT? So while they have developed chat GPT, the data that is available is until 2021. Uh, so we need to train the, our data to get the latest data. It's not like the latest information is not given properly. For example, President uh, of India has been changed in 2022. So now if you type in in charge GPT who is President of India, we will be getting result of old President. So where actually this charge GPT we can use? So before integrating to Pega, where we can use this chat GPT? Just uh, there is a website where you have to create your account in this open AI. Uh, once you have created account, it will be asking your phone number where you get some authentication code uh, to your WhatsApp or just a normal text message by which you can register it. Once you register to open AI, you can see the use of this. So these are the basics that are available to in the open AI. This is text completion, image generation, embeddings, fine tuning and code completion. And uh, here if you see documentation, you can see overview about open AI. This is an API reference where you can avail uh, open AI services. So if you want to integrate with whatever system, whether it's Pebble or Java or whatever it is, you can have to define uh, some API keys. For API keys, you have to go to personal and see here view API keys. Once you click on view API keys and create new secret keys, one of that option we have. So I have created uh, just now. So I will be using that. If not, you can delete the key if uh, it's not required. And I have selected organization as personal because this is just for my purpose and uh, examples of chat gpt examples of open AI api you can see over here and next what is the language you use to communicate with chat gpt so this is one of the most important uh, concept over here so if you see here you have playground over here in playground here you can see view code just if you click on view board, you can see options here like what is the language that you want to communicate with OpenAI to make use of this star GPT. So this is Python, Node.js, curl and JSON. You can use uh, any one of the option and uh, we will be using only post method uh, to get our data. Here you can press chart GPT. For example, who is CEO of Pega? Clicking submit. See, Alan Treffler is a founder and CEO of Pegasus Mindsy. 
So you can see this is the very fast response. So instead of Google in future, we might use this chat GPT. Don't know how it goes. And you can see here our data default models training data is up till 2021. That's why you might not get exact and accurate uh, general information after 2021. Suppose here if you want to do this integration same for Pega, click on view code, you can see this is JSON request we got. You can copy it and make use of this. To make integration with Pega systems and uh, open AI, first we have to create an account and you have to create an authentication key and you have to take sample request. So in Pega systems, I will be creating separate uh, rule set for chat GPT for creating the rules. So these are the prerequisite. Stay tuned to this channel to know like how we are going to integrate uh, OpenAI with chat GPT. And one more thing to observe here, in this playground of OpenAI, you can see here a drop down. So if you see, you can uh, use these examples as well. This is what I have shown here. So you can use directly in background itself. For example, if you want to convert from English to other languages. So one French, two Spanish, three Japanese. So what rooms uh, do you have available? So this is the word. So if you want to see translate a word in the respective language, click on submit. So in this way, you can make use of this opening API. Let's see how we can use this in Pega also. Thanks everyone for making this channel more successful. Please subscribe, share, like and comment on the videos and provide feedback.